So what happens is this, if you die and all your sins have been washed away before you die, when you enter your grave, your grave will be a garden of paradise. But you may still have sins when you die. So the first station after death is the Janaza prayer. People that will ask forgiveness for you washes away your sins. Number two, the grave itself. So the punishment in the grave. So let's just, just so that you can imagine, let's say someone had a hundred sins, they asked forgiveness for 50 of them. This is by the way why, whenever you remember a bad deed you did, immediately say Astaghfirullah. Because you may never remember it again. Right? So, you have 50 sins left, Janaza prayer took away 10 you have 40 left you will be punished in the grave until those 40 go away and then in the hereafter you may go straight to Jannah it's fair Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is fair and the third thing after you die is gifts good deeds that are gifted to you by your children by a continuous charity that if you've done the last four stations I'm going to go quickly through this the day of judgment, everything we just described, standing for 50,000 years, all this pain, all right, is again washing away your sins. Intercession, we'll get to that in a minute. The Prophet will intercede, will ask forgiveness on your behalf. The mercy of Allah. The mercy of Allah. The mercy of Allah, every deed you do, Allah counts it as 10. If all of this is still not enough and you have bad deeds then you will enter into hellfire until those bad deeds are washed away and then you are taking out of hellfire into Jannah. does this make sense?